Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Danny, and today's video will be solving this question for x, okay? The first step requires to apply a Lambert W function. And before I start talking about the rules of the Lambert W function, if you try to attempt to standard algebra, you will get a point where you're going to have an, a variable in the exponent and the base, which makes it unsolvable. You're in a state of unsolvable. You can't solve it. And the technique to use to solve it is to apply this thing called Lambert W, uh, Lambert w function. So, where Lambert W function states is that we must get a y at the bottom and a y at the top. The y could be represented by x squared or anything, but it must be the same as the bottom and the top. It's got to be raised to some e as well, uh, right? And once we get into this format, it can be simplified to a singular y term with a w and with k. k represents a branch number, okay? And w you could think of as a log, natural logarithmic, uh, logarithmic function, okay? So that's the rule for it. So first we have to get into this format. So we're going to divide uh, x to the power of 3 on both sides of the equation. We acquire this. Now if we get rid of this negative 3 over here. So we're going to raise both sides of the equation by negative 1 divided by 3. Once we do that, we're going to have negative 1 divided by 3 to the x in the exponent, which means we have to multiply on both sides of the equation to have the same on the top and the bottom. So we're going to multiply negative 1 divided by 3 on both sides. We acquire this. And now our y is our negative 1 divided by 3 to the uh, multiply by x. So now we're applying Lambert's w. This gets simplified to just negative 1 divided by 3 to the x as shown over here. Then we're going to multiply, uh, divide both sides by negative 1 divided by 3, which in turn would be negative 3. And now we're going to apply the, the branch number, and I'll be explaining this with a graph, okay? So here's the graph, the Lambert w function, and here's our equation from the previous page, right? So negative 1 divided by 3 is basically equal to x equal to negative 0 0.333. That's very important. So now we're going to look at the graph. Now branch w of 0 is this orange line, okay? This orange line over here. Now branch w negative 1 is this green line over here. If you look very carefully, it's right over here. X and, and our pink is basically this number over here, which is our negative 0 0.333, which is this pink line over here, okay? And this blue line is the x asymptote of this function, which is equal to negative 1 divided by e, which is negative 0 0.368, okay? So now we have three scenarios. So case one, is our x over here bigger than 0? No, it's not. So we're not going to have case one. Case two, is it between negative 1 divided by e and 0? Yes, it is. Our values between those two things. We have two real solutions. As you can look at the graph, our 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 pink line intersects the orange and it intersects the green line. So that means we have two real solutions. Now, case three, if, if we didn't have case one or two, then we have only complex solutions. So in this scenario, we don't have that. We have only case two. So now we apply inside a calculator. We can look at a graph and we acquire an answer that is 0 0.61906. And we're going to multiply it by negative three. And that's equal to 1.857. And after, for branch W and negative 1, we do the same thing. We use a calculator and we require this as our answer. And that's it for this question. For practice, solve for x for this uh, problem over here, which is e to the x minus, minus x to the 4 equal to 0. Solve for x. Post your solution in the comment section. Please leave a like and subscribe. And I hope you guys have a wonderful, great day.